Euros 2028 winner with England, Thomas Laval is preparing for Euros 2032 with the Italian national team. If he wins the trophy twice in a row with two different nations, he could set one of the hardest records ever to beat. Italy is run with Denmark, Romania and Netherlands in the same group. The Derby is using this weird formation to fill in all the best players he has in the team. But the tournament itself started very poorly for Italy. Danish star Rasmus Hoylund completed the brace already in the 41st minute. Right before the end of the first half, Thomas Laval managed to get one back with a beautiful half volley. Another goal scored by Antonio Martinelli in the 58th minute saved a point for Italy. But that was not good enough and they needed a win in the second game against Romania to approach the last game with the best possible chances to qualify. Just like the first first game, Italy started that game extremely bad and lost the first half 2-0. Laval scored for Italy their first of the night and the second goal by Wilfred Inondo brought another point to Italy, leaving them a small chance to qualify after all. But for that, they had to win the last game of the group stages against Netherlands. After the goalless first half, Netherlands opened the score in the 52nd minute with Xavi Simons. Italy managed to equalize the score only 30 minutes after they conceded and remaining time was not enough to score the winning goal. And just like that, Italy were eliminated from the Euros. That was a real fiasco for Squadra Azzurra. Meanwhile in the club level, Diego Simeone has been assigned as the new manager of Manchester United. And he wanted to rebuild the team around their academy talent who became one of the world's best players. And he approached Thomas Laval with an offer to join his boyhood club. You should return to the Old Trafford. You have to prove the fans that they were wrong. You've got everything the top player needs and beyond. With us, you will become the best in the world and together we can make this club the number one in the Europe once again. But the frustration Thomas had regarding the Red Devils fans was still there. He was not ready to return back, although that was his dream from the first day he left. In Munich things were much stable. The Champions League finalists were pushing hard in a transfer market with new signings and players like Aaron Hickey and Adam Wharton joined the team to help with the unfinished task of winning the treble. The season started for them with a game against Borussia Dortmund for the German Super Cup at the Olympia Stadium, where Dortmund players had a plan of stopping Laval with dirty tackles and harsh challenges. And that plan was totally collapsed when Thomas Laval scored the winning goal just couple of minutes before the final whistle and brought yet another trophy to his team. Right after that game he felt a discomfort and soon after that he picked up an ACL injury which left him out of the field for 9 months. That was a huge blow for Bayern Munich as all their plans of winning the treble were crushed. They are only 5th in the table after 15 games and 15 points behind Dortmund. That much gap will be extremely hard to reduce. In the second half of the season, despite all the problems and injuries they had, Bayern managed to win against Dortmund at the Signal Iduna Park keeping their hopes for the title alive. In the contrary, if Bayern make to the UCL final, Thomas Laval will most probably be available for that game. And they did pass Real Madrid with the aggregate score of 3-2 in the quarterfinals, scoring the winning goal at the Santiago Bernabeu in the last minute of the game. In the semi-finals they matched up against Manchester City and despite a draw at the 88th stadium, citizens managed to eliminate Bayern from the competition, winning 5-3 on aggregate at the Allianz Arena. Without Thomas Laval, Bayern had a stinker of a season, ended up winning only one trophy, finishing fourth in the Bundesliga and out from the semis in the Champions League. Bang average stats from pretty much all leaders of the team was a clear indicator that this team was heavily reliant on just one man. Meanwhile at the Old Trafford, things were going not as planned. Despite a fantastic job in the transfer market, signing of such an amazing players like Thomas Laval's partner up front in the Italian national team team Antonio Martinelli, one of the best left backs in the world, Nuno Mensch, and even Michael Olise, Manchester United ended up the season only 5th in the Premier League and without the trophy in other competitions as well. The missing part of that project was Thomas Laval and Diego Simeone tried one more time to sign him. I know you had a bad season and you want to prove everybody that you can come back even stronger and this is your chance to do so. We can win every trophy with you as a leader in this 
this team. Although Laval had an offer from the current Champions League winners, Manchester City on the table as well, he did not want to betray his boyhood club and he made his decision. After seven years from his debut, Thomas Laval is returning to the Old Trafford, but as a main star for the Red Devils. In the starting day of the season, he scored only three minutes into the game. This time, he was as motivated as possible to succeed at Manchester. They looked solid in the beginning of the season, winning match after match until they met their City rivals. That was a clear test for United, as City were flying that night. Scoring three goals past Restes, they took all three points from the Old Trafford. Manchester United continued to lose precious points against their direct competitors in the league. This time losing to Liverpool at the Anfield. As a result, they were only third in the league after 20 games. But in individual level, Thomas Laval was brilliant with 25 goal contributions in 27 games. In the Europa League, Manchester United reached the semis, where they faced RC Lens. Although United lost the first game with minimal score, they started the second match scoring quite early. In the 8th minute, Martinelli grabbed a goal after Laval's assist. 15 minutes later, Lens managed to restore their aggregate lead though. Manchester United scored one more time in the second half from the corner with Matis De Ligt and second assist for Laval as well. The game went to an extra time and although United tried their best to win it without a penalty shootout, that did not happen. Penalties it was. An RC Lens missed twice, giving United a chance to win it all with the fifth shot. Thomas Laval stepped in to take it and he missed one more time the decisive penalty in front of its own fans. That could have been a disaster. If not only Guillaume Restes and his brilliant saves to secure a spot for Manchester United in the Europa League final. The Red Devils ended up the season in the Premier League 4th, securing the Champions League football for the next season, regardless of result of the Europa League final. Simultaneously winning the Carabao Cup, Thomas Laval had his best season yet with 51 goal contributions and that season can be crowned with European trophy if Manchester United managed to win against Feyenoord. The Red Devils were heavy favorites in that final and Thomas Laval opened the score already in the 11th minute. But Feyenoord was not ready to give up yet and they equalized the score in the second half. In the 71st minute United got a free kick in the killer position. Can Laval finally convert a direct free kick when it matters the most? A shot, a lucky deflection and the ball went in. Thomas Laval completed a brace to finally win another European trophy for the Red Devils. And with this game, he definitely rescued his reputation at the Old Trafford. And starting from that moment, he was going to be the fans' favorite. It is the summer of 2034, a World Cup year, and Laval joined the Italian national team to participate in the World Cup first time in his career.